Welcome to another episode of In Between Homes. Today, I'm going to share about mastering flow of life. That's what I call master flow. It's my signature program, which I love. And today, one of the topic is about work-life balance. Because most of my students, when they come to work with me, when they start working with me, they have this unbalanced work-life situation. They arrive at a stage where maybe their business of their work is taking too much of their time and energy and they just feel like, oh my God, I can't continue like this. Enough. This has been too far. I push, I push, I push. But honestly, I'm done. What is the solution then? I remember one of my clients came to me and said, you are my only last solution before I close my business. And I was, what? What is happening? Yeah, my health is taking over. I need time. I need space to take care of myself, to take care of my body. I can't do the business anymore. Even though it's profitable, even though it's generating a lot of money, I can't do. Wait a second. What if there is another solution? What if there is another way? This is what I I, I do and I teach in Master Flow. There are other ways to do things. First, I want to acknowledge that when you have realized that you can't pursue the life you are living this way anymore, it's first victory. The awareness you are bringing to yourself is going to change everything. It's really the starting point. If you are not fully convinced that things must change, they won't. You won't do the job. Embracing change requires strength. I think requires even more the why. I must do it. I want to change something. I want to adjust the way I'm doing things to be more flowy, to be more ah, equilibrium of life. So if you are at the point that something needs to change, congratulate yourself. You may not know how yet, but this is the most important point. I always tell people, you can't help people that don't want to be helped. We must be aware that we need to change something to actually go on the journey and to embrace the change. Because embracing change, it's uncomfortable. It means that we have to remove some habits we have been maybe doing our whole life. And today we need to do it in another way. And sometimes it's a 90 degree shift or 180 degree or 360 degree. So we need to be on board, fully decided that we want that change. And once you have this willingness to change, most of the work is done in a way because then you are all in. You are committed to yourself. You have taken that decision. You have signed a pact with yourself saying, yes, I want something different. So congratulate yourself for this first step. The awareness is everything. And now you are maybe wondering, so how we do that? What I've been seeing a lot in terms of um, work-life balance is what happened mostly for entrepreneurs, but it's true as well uh, with corporations and employees at burnout, that leads to burnout, situation that leads to burnout, is we put everything first, which is only work. All is about work. And you are maybe thinking, yeah, but... 
Lucy, this business is my baby. I got you. My first business was my baby too. Had to close it. I lost 90% of my revenue during COVID. It break my heart. I understand. But I know you can love your baby and still don't just do that. <laughs> there is a way to equilibrium, to find the balance. You need to put yourself, your being, as the center of your life. And then work is one thing. And then your family is another thing. And your health is another thing. And your relationship and your fun part is something else. And the contribution to the world is something else. So we put ourselves in the center, the being, the wholeness of ourselves. We find balance by knowing who we are and what we want. To have clarity on where we are heading, business-wise, but also in our life. For me, it's where it's wrong. People just focus on business, but it's actually life. Business is saving life. Business is a tool, is a resource, is how to get there, is how to get the... Your, your mission from, from yourself, your deepest goal and desire to life. Business is a tool. But often we get caught up as business owner in, in the economical part. Is I need to generate more profit. I need to blah, 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 blah. And we lose track of why we started at first. So if you have been running your business for a while, do you remember the, the why? Why you started that? What's the essence? Me, I started my first business because I went to eat a gelato in Bali in a shop. It's where I met my first client. I was not even a business owner at that time. But I knew what I wanted. I wanted to find a way to stay longer in Bali because life was good in Bali. <laughs> it was eight years ago. I didn't want to be a business owner. I wanted so badly to find a way to stay. An entrepreneurial journey came as a way to make it happen, to share my deepest dream to share what was fulfilling me, what was coming from inside of me. But the invitation, if you are having a you know, hard time with work-life balance, is really to reconnect to your why, why you started. And asking yourself, you, your life, what does matter to you right now? Where would you love to be in your life one year from now? And maybe the answer is going to come is, I want a family. I want a kid. I want a partnership. Or maybe I want, I don't know, just being alive. Maybe I want have more savings to buy the first home. And then, once this is clear, we can adjust the business model to make it happen. Then it's easy. There's plenty of ways how I can support you in all this journey. This is what I do for my client. Once we know what they want, we can make it happen. But if you take the problem in the reverse way, it doesn't work. If you get caught up on, on the profitability and how to make more money and make more money and make more money, it just doesn't work. Because we need you in the center of your life. You are the essential part. Your fulfillment comes from that. The satisfaction, the love, the happiness, the joy come from there. The rest just gravitate around.
the race become more clear. This is the journey to embark on. This is where my plan gets so much result. The focus, the clarity is easy after. So it's possible. There are plenty of ways. Life is abundance. There's a whole world of possibilities that you don't even uh, are not even aware today. But I promise you, if you say, yes, I want to change, reach out because we can support you. We can help you on that journey. And transitions are not so hard. There are highs and lows. But when you are the right support group, magic happens. So work-life balance exists. And for me, it's just a decision. But your place is to be at the center of your life. So thank you for having me today. And I see you next week on In Between Home podcast.